Hello, and today we're reviewing the Nexus 7 tablet made by Google and Asus. So, on the front area of the tablet is a 7 inch screen. It's a 1280 by 800 pixels, 720p HD screen, and scratch resistant corning glass. So, it won't get scratched as easy. On the front, we have the 1.2 megapixel camera. On the bottom, we have micro USB port and then a headphone jack. On the side, you have the volume buttons and the on and off button. And on the top there is nothing and on the other side there is these little dots and I have no idea what they're actually for. So, <laughs> and then on the back you have the speaker and then it says Nexus and Asus. So, over here is the button turn on and this is box two. has a time and you can take this, you can either slide it down to unlock or you can slide up to go to a Google search. We'll look at that later. So this is the home screen so far. On the top you have the Google search bar and on the bottom you have another dock. Now these are your three main buttons. You have home, back, and then you know the, I don't even know what to call it, Another button, I'll just say that. Now, at the top it has a dock you can pull down. It has your notifications. It tells you your um, um, weather and stuff. <laughs> and it has the date on the top and then settings and then that just clears everything. Now, you have five home screens as you usually do on all Android devices. And yeah. So, at the bottom you have the dock and you can easily customize the dock if you don't want the Play Store. In the dock, you just drag it out. I can, or maybe you can. Then it groups some of them together, so you can look on there. Now this button takes you to all the apps, and then your widgets. Now let's talk about how fast this thing can exactly go. It was made for gaming, so it has a. Um, well, it was made for gaming and everything else. It has a 1.3 GHz quad core processor and one gigabyte of RAM. And then the battery is a 4,325 4, milliamp battery. It's 8 hours battery life. And they come in two versions. You have the 8 gigabyte version for $200 or the 16 gigabyte for 250 This is the 8 gigabyte version. Now, let's go ahead and see how fast it is on the internet. So it connects to any Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi strength I have right now is not very good. So we're going to go ahead and just go to Welcome to Google Chrome. See, it loads it pretty fast. Now the only browser that comes with it is Google Chrome. You can easily change it. And again, it's like your normal and you know you have the tabs. You can easily enter your tabs. You have your most viewed bookmarks and other devices. So let's go ahead and go to um, YouTube. And it already brought it up. See, oh, I guess I accidentally clicked on no, it. Is. And it loads very fast. Now we can... Let's go to, let's just go to Google. And see it loads very fast. Very good. Now let's see, what else do we have here? Now it runs Android Jelly Bean, which is Android 4.1, so it has the latest version of the software. And Okay, now yeah. we're going to show you how fast it works on YouTube. You know. Let's just go to clue to phrase zero. It's loading in HD. It is taking a while. Then again, my Wi-Fi is not very good at where I am right now. Mm, we gotta go with Pass it down. So, see, it's very good. Then it has the information about it, thumbs up and stuff. Works very good. 
Now, I'm going to show you other apps that come pre-installed with it. So, of course, of course, you have the Google Play Store. You can download all your apps on here. And let's just see how fast an app downloads. So I'm just going to download a random app, and I'll delete it later. Let's think. Let's download Fat Booth. So, I don't even see the actual one. I'm just going to download this. So we click install, we install. It's downloading right now. And then up here, see the notification that it's downloading it. Sorry for the glare. And that tells you the internet that you're currently connected to. So we're going to go ahead and go to the home screen and just kind of wait for that to download and it will give me a notification as soon as it is done downloading. It's now installing and it has ex that successfully installed. And now we'll go ahead and bring this up. Oh. Then yeah, that's that. So let's play around with the voice commands. What is the weather like? It's 91 degrees and cloudy in Madison. Here's the forecast for the next few days. No, it gives you that, but then if you ask it something it might not know, like... Cooler 2 for it, zero. Okay, it didn't hear that right. <laughs> then if it doesn't know, it just takes it here, or you could say... What is the weather in Washington, D.C.? It's 85 degrees and partly cloudy in Washington. Here's the forecast for the next few days. That's called Google um, Cards. It's kind of like Siri, only it's not as nice. Let's go ahead and play some music or just play with it. So, um, let's see here. See how... Let's see how it sounds. So it sounds decent for only one speaker. The Kindle Fire probably has a better speaker. Now, so the Kindle Fire is its competitor, same with the Nook tablet, but this is lighter and thinner than the Kindle tablet. This is 340 grams, which is not even a pound, way less. Okay, now, so if you hit this button, I'm calling it a weird button. Then it shows you all your running stuff, and what's currently running, you just slide off. So now nothing's running. And that's typically about all there is. You can customize your home screens, drag stuff, like if we... Here's a clock. I can move that around. Or I can add another widget. Let's just do that for the heck of it. Calendar. Uh, let's move it there, and I can move it around, and I can make it bigger, I can make it take up a whole page, or I can make it smaller. And if you don't want it, you just put it up there to remove. And that's about all for this Nexus 7 review. It's a very nice item. If I can find the button. And on the back, it's padded, and it says Nexus and Azus. And, yeah. Oh, I'll hold it down too long, I guess. So overall, I think this is a very nice tablet. I like how it looks and feels. It's very thin compared to the Kindle Fire. It's faster than the Kindle Fire. So you're getting more of your money out of this than the Kindle Fire. And if you pre-ordered it like we did, you get $25 to spend in the Google Play Store and Transformers Dark of the Moon for free on this. So, yeah. Just kind of look at it a little bit. And there you go. There's a complete review of the Nexus 7 tablet by Google. We also do video reviews on phones, tablets, stereo systems, computers, laptops, and much more. Thanks for watching.